Nice house. LAPD, ma'am. Is Mrs. Evestrom in? But she is. Would you follow me, sir? I am Mrs. Evestrom. How may I help you? We appear to have recovered some stolen goods that belong to you, ma'am. Yes, of course. That terrible burglary. Would you like something to drink? No, thank you, ma'am. We have some questions, if you don't mind. Why would I mind, young man? if you are returning 43 pieces of my property. Okay, before we get down to that, I'll have a scotch. Thanks, straight up. Maria, can you get the detective a drink, please? Excuse me, come back here, detective. You were telling me about my valuables. I'm stumped. Speak to Mrs. Eve's Ideas? Paul. She'll know every item that went missing. Maria, I think we'd best get this officer a drink to get him moving. He looks rather gormless. Can you describe to us what was stolen? It would be easier to describe what wasn't stolen, detective. <laughs> a priceless tiara that has been in the family for 50 years. A Fabergé cigarette case that was worth $25,000. Why are you lying about the value of your jewelry, Mrs. Evestrom? Who do you think you are? Making heinous accusations in my own home. Young man, you are being quite diabolically rude. If that's all, I would like you out of this house. We recovered a black sapphire ring. A beautiful piece. It belongs to my daughter. So you have no idea who did this burglary? A lot of these cases tend to be inside jobs. How dare you impugn my character and the character of my staff? If you have no further questions, I suggest you leave. What can you tell us about the burglary? That terrible night, at least a year ago. But let's not go into that. Let's talk about what you've recovered. I think you know more about this burglary than you are letting on, Mrs. Eustrom. There isn't an insurance claim involved, is there? Are you accusing me of having my own home burgled? How dare you? What possible proof do you have for this scandalous remark? I would appreciate it if your friend finished his drink and the two of you left. I get the sense that you're worried about something, Mrs. Eastrom. I have already received the insurance claim, Detective. Is there any way we could keep the return of these items discreet? That's about it for now, Mrs. Eastrom. The department will get in touch and let you know how you can recover your valuables. You have only mentioned a few of the items that have been stolen, Detective. What else has been recovered? Can you describe to us what was stolen? It would be easier to describe what wasn't stolen, Detective. <laughs> a priceless tiara that has been in the family for 50 years. A Fabergé cigarette case that was worth $25,000. Why are you lying about the value of your jewelry, Mrs. Evestrom? Who do you think you are? Making heinous accusations in my own home. We recovered the cigarette case from a pawnbroker. No one knows the real value of an item better than those guys. I inflated its value for the insurance claim. There, 
Are you satisfied? My daughter's boyfriend was quite taken with the case. I think he was even more disappointed than I was when it was stolen. What can you tell us about the burglary? A terrible night. At least a year ago. But let's not go into that. Let's talk about what you've recovered. Were you in the house when the burglary took place? Good heavens, no. I was at a social function held by a Dr. Harold Stoneman and his lovely wife. I returned home and all of my things were missing. That's about it for now, Mrs. Eastrom. The department will get in touch and let you know how you can recover your valuables. You have only mentioned a few of the items that have been stolen, Detective. What else has been recovered? You see, Phelps, that's why you get the drinks in early. Hello, Mother. Hello, Detectives. What is going on? We'd like to ask exactly the same question. You have met my daughter? This morning at work. Oh. Mother and father divorced. I took my father's name. The detectives recovered some of the things that were stolen, darling. Well, what did you find? A sapphire ring on the corpse of Julia Randall. What are you talking about? Your engagement ring, Miss Swanson. Would you be surprised to know that it was part of the proceeds of a burglary? That's an outrageous allegation! Yes, it is. I suggest we go straight to Henry Arnett's place and sort this mess out. We need to get to Arnett's apartment. He's the key to all of this. All this talk has me considerably vexed, Detective. I'm... I'm sorry. You'll have to give me a moment. Back here, Cole. I'm not babysitting this broad on my own. Go and find my jewelry pieces and bring them back to me, detective. It's very important. Each one is a memento from my dead husband's. <laughs> 